Well, good morning. Welcome to the Digital Foyer Live with Lex and Luke. We're sorry we were having technical difficulties here. We are late. Somehow, when I send it to Vimeo, it's not going to Facebook. I don't know why. So we're on YouTube and the website. Little craziness today on Father's Day. Hopefully we can get that figured out for next week. But glad you're joining us and we are glad to be here on this Sunday morning. As always, the Digital Foyer is a chance for us to continue to connect digitally with Christ and community together. The name of the game is Interact. We want you to type in, say hello to each other, react to each other, react to the questions we throw out. It's more fun if you're interacting and joining in with us on the live chat. So whether you're on YouTube or the website, there is a place to join chat on there. If you're new to the website, this week could be a chance to try it out. Try the chat function on the website or on YouTube, and we will talk to you on there. So, it is a special day though, right Lex? It is. Happy Father's Day, Luke. Thank you. Yes, it is Father's Day. We're excited to join you all on this Father's Day. Mm. Special hello to all you dads out there that are watching this live or watching it later. The great granddads. All of you. All y'all. You all make up a... A pivotal piece of our society, and Very so we're important. glad for you're here. <laughs> so as always, uh, you know this is only my fourth, fourth right, fourth year of Father's Day. Yes, yeah, fourth like year that. of Father's Day. Fourth so year. we're still growing our traditions as a family. Yeah. So we'd love to hear what Father's Day traditions do you have? That's right. Yeah, our kids haven't always been as cooperative. You know, it's like what you can do with an eight-year-old or something you can't do with an eight-month-old. So we haven't figured out our traditions yet. The digital foyer is also like our crowdsourcing thing here, in case you haven't noticed. Like the Kincaids have a challenge, so we ask the audience, and <laughs> you guys come up big. So, like, For example, squirrels. Squirrels. They were killing our garden. Got some little peppermint drops. I think somebody in the foyer might have said that, and no more squirrels. So, Love it. Love it. In case you're having squirrel issues, put some peppermint oil <laughs> places, and then you'll smell refreshing and your squirrels will be gone. So we want to know what Father's Day traditions oh, yeah. do you have so <laughs> we can grow ours and find out maybe some fun ones that you do that maybe we want to adopt yeah. in the future Father's We'll take days. the best. We'll make fun of the worst. No, I'm just kidding. We won't make fun of any of your traditions. It's special. And, and if you remember on Mother's Day, we did kind of a fun question and answer with some kids, and we kind of got the idea from our uh, school where... They bring home our kids things about their dads. Yeah. And uh, for example, Mackenzie brought one home. from. Sa- it says, my favorite memory of my dad is when we snuggle each other. She also thinks that he is 10 years old. Yep. And <laughs> she says, I'm good at working to get monies. So I guess I just work to get monies to buy her toys. <laughs> we'll work on working to uh, spread the uh, gospel as well with her. But yeah, there you yeah, have yeah. it. Yeah, but work, so, work to get the monies. We have a video this morning that is showcasing some of our wonderful kids and it is representative of how we feel on Father's Day. Of course, we couldn't get everyone and we couldn't use all the videos, but thanks to you all who sent them in. Hopefully this provides you some laughs and some aww moments. So here you go. Check out today's Father's Day and then do play mini golf. Um, go camping with my dad in the backyard and have and go on a golf cart ride. Play games. My favorite thing to do with my dad is throw the frisbee and sleep in the tent. Target! <laughs> play? Play. Oh. My favorite thing to do with my dad is watch the Yankees play and win World Series games, which they do often. Play sports. Yeah, play sports. And go um, to um, Donut Place. My dad's favorite snack is definitely donuts. If you put a dozen donuts in front of him, he definitely could eat them all in one sitting. Salad. Salad. My dad's favorite food. My dad's favorite food is tacos. Rosie, what's dad's favorite food? Mm, 
carbonara. Ben, what's dad's favorite food? Uh, banana. Bananas. Bananas. My dad's favorite food is Chick-fil-A. My dad's favorite food is the crab cake from Retro's. Skip Shack. <laughs> Eggs. It My dad's favorite food is sandwiches. My dad's favorite food is beef and noodles. My dad's favorite food is chicken parmesan. For sure. And ice cream. Donuts. Donuts. always says to relax. My dad always says, don't you worry about that. Um, he says a ton, ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo I'm over. <laughs> I love you, my little Annie Bananas. Clean up the table. Huh. Use your normal voice. Use your normal voice, yeah. For sure, Chief. My dad always says that Jesus loves me. My dad always says, go fly a kite. Or, donde estas tu madre? I love you. My dad always says, I love you. Listen to mom. My dad is really good at making chocolate. My dad is really good at taking us to the, um, the pool to help us practice with building, um, coaching. I love my dad because he fixes everything and he finds everything. Hmm. Being a dentist and helping other people. Uh, cooking! Yeah. Working every day. My dad is really good at making banana bread. My dad is very good at praying and preaching. My dad is really good at taking naps. No, my dad loves me because he tickles me. I know that my dad loves me because he tells me that every day. I know my dad loves me because he is always available. Drop of the hat, no matter what, he'll be there. I know my dad loves me because... Because Jesus does. <laughs> I know my dad loves me because he says so. And he grills really good food for me. And he misses me when I'm gone. Uh, because he just does. <laughs> he takes care of me. I know my dad loves me because he's such a big motivating factor for me. But not only that, but I also know that he's always in my corner no matter what I do or what I decide. My dad loves me because he's always there for me. He tells me and he plays with me um, because he does lots of nice things for us. We love you, Daddy. Happy Father's Day. We love you. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed a little video. There was obviously a theme of donuts. So uh, Lex and I Day. thought we'd enjoy a little Father's Day donuts. Well, we should not have eaten synchronously because now, <laughs> now, now like neither of us can talk. Spitting donut at everybody here, but also before we move forward, because of technical difficulties, if you um, are watching on our website, yeah. the chat's a little more complicated. You have to click join chat as guest if you scroll down a little bit, and all you'll have to do is enter your name and click the little box and hit join. You should be able to chat then. We're kind of testing that out still a little bit, but. You should be able to do it, but you do have to hit join the chat in order to see the chat and type in things as you're watching this. So try it out. We're hopefully gonna be using this for the service to that chat box. So um, we're interested to see if people can figure it out. Yeah, I, full disclaimer, have been having trouble on my iPad. So now I'm just going to stress eat throughout the rest of the digital <laughs> foyer because this is a very challenging situation. It was almost like, uh, the guys were saying like it's like in a movie where it's like you're diffusing a bomb and there's a countdown and then like we didn't do it so no, we didn't. <laughs> whereas instead of blowing up now we're just gonna go eat live. up and go live and but speaking of Father's Day we uh, love hearing from the kids so 
feel free to just think on this if we're not chatting about it, but we did want to yeah. hear from people sharing what is something your dad always says or said um, at some point in the past in your life, because mm -hmm. dads have had a lot of impact on us. And Lex, I know we have a picture of your dad here, right? That's my dad and me and my sister, little baldy is there. Um, <laughs> my dad, very impressive, till, till the day he died, he had a nice full head of hair. So my grandfather, my dad's dad, always used to say, what a mush, which I was like, I don't even know what that means, but apparently now that I have a face full of donut, I am experiencing this is what a mush. My dad, and my mom, but my dad always used to say, love you most. And um, he would say that we're twins. So he'd say that to both of us. So it wasn't a comparative <laughs> thing. It's just his way of saying, I love you more than you can imagine. Um, and on a day like Father's Day, for people like me who have lost your father or people who maybe have a strained relationship with their dad, um, I know it can be tough. It can be a day of celebration, but it can also be a challenging day. And so if you are in that spot, if today is hard for you, know that uh, people are praying for you, I am praying for you, we are praying for you, but also you don't have to be alone in that. So please reach out. That's why we do things like the digital foyer so that we can connect and know how are people doing really. So if you need some pastoral care, if you just want somebody to chat with and, and remember a parent or talk about what it's like to, to not have that relationship you desire, we would love to walk alongside you and just talk about that. So yeah. Absolutely. So happy Father's Day to all and to all of our fathers who we may miss as well. Yeah, or and happy Father's Day to Rex Kincaid, the right. best father-in-law around there. Hey, Dad, I know my mom's on the chat. She figured it out. Although least. usually it's like your dad sneaking in as your mom. Maybe, Maybe. Yeah. We yeah, don't yeah. know. Whoever you are out there, Kincaid parent, we're glad you're here. Absolutely. And as always, we'll see how this goes this morning, but we do have our wonderful chapel trivia. Oh, yeah. And one of the traditions here at the chapel we are unable to do because we haven't, aren't able to gather in person the service. Uh, if you remember Mother's Day, we used to give out roses. And on Father's Day, we would give out baseball cards. So the prize today, if someone gets this, if you figure out the chat, was going to be uh, baseball cards, kind of an old pack of baseball cards, something that we don't do much anymore, but uh, even when I was a kid, baseball cards were still popular. And I know generations even before that, this was the thing to do to collect baseball cards. Yeah. And so We're if just going to steal them from Trav's office, to be honest. Yeah, so he has he a won't bunch. notice. And so if you win this, um, the prize will be either for your dad or a dad you'd like us to give it to if you win. And the only caveats is staff can't win this. It is a staff, chapel staff trivia again. And uh, immediate or extended family members, we learned last week, can't win either. Yeah. So here we go. Here's the, here's the trivia. We'll, we'll give you a few minutes, see if anyone's in and figuring out the chat. If not, we'll just give you the answer for fun to get to know this person. Yeah. But here we go. Here are the facts about the person. One, this person pronounces salmon, the word like the fish, salmon. How do you say it? Salmon. <laughs> How does everybody on the planet yeah. say it other than this person? <laughs> Salmon. Second, this person's favorite style of music is funk. Third, this person has over 60 extended family members on one side of the family. So we can find out which side, but 60, that's a lot. That is a lot. I wonder I, if they can name them all. We don't have time for that. Well, I, obviously. <laughs> no. 60 family members on one side of the family. So we'll give you a minute or two to write in if you're figuring out the chat to see if anyone gets this on this Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, and while you're, while you're writing things in or answering, I um, wanted to remind you all that tonight we have a new event, an event we haven't done um, that uh, we're just trying out for the first time something in person and online at the chapel. So we have a Bible in an hour. Travis is going to be speaking about, you know, the big themes that go throughout the whole Bible. It's going to be at 7 p.m. You can come inside or online. We've moved every other row here and That's right. we're going to be sitting um, uh, distant from family union, units and things like that. So if you'd like to join us inside, feel free mm -hmm. to come 7 p.m. tonight. That's right. Did I miss anything on that? I don't think so. We were just joking. It's like, if you've been sitting at home thinking, you know, I just love worshiping online, but Trav's <laughs> sermons are just a little bit too short, then here you go. This is for you guys. <laughs> Come on over. It, I'm sure it'll make it interactive. It'll be fun. It'll just be fun to like be together again. I know we've been craving that. So we're going to do that safely and uh, try some things out so that when we regather next, next week. week, outside, inside, and online, 
um, we know we know what we're doing here. Absolutely. Nice, nice. All right. So, oh, we did get a winner. Oh, nice. I think what? So, somehow. What? The, uh, hold, Yo, we'll show we... the answer. We'll show the answer. <laughs> and uh, all right, here we go. The answer to this trivia question is Isaac. Hello, Isaac. Isaac. Happy hey, Father's guys. Day. Can you hear us, Isaac? I mean, okay, oh, yeah. okay. There's Arlo. Hey. Hi, Arlo. Hi. Can Arlo see you? I think so. How are you guys yeah. doing? Okay. Like so you're just Isaac like a crazy is the person. winner, and he is a dad, and so we wanted to bring him in. So uh, mm. 60 family members, Isaac. If we I wanted did. to, could you name them all? I could not. <laughs> so, uh, so two years ago, uh, Danielle and I went to Brazil to um, like see some of my family. It had been 10 years. Oh, wow. Since I had even uh, like been back there, and right. I, I, I promise, I feel like every time I go, um, I meet new family members uh, that I didn't know I had. Oh, wow, that's right. So a lot of them are still in Brazil. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Nice, nice. In there's the just United like States, I just people have just my, hearing my like, "There's a cool party," and they're like, "I'm a family member," because like you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, Isaac, thanks for joining us. We had some technical difficulties, but we do have a winner. Maybe people Who think won? we rigged this whole technical difficulties thing yeah. because the winner is my mom, Lori Kincaid. <laughs> no Congratulations. She got Isaac, and uh, you awesome. are the winner. So my dad, I'll bring you some baseball cards. We all. This was all just a big hoax to celebrate my dad. <laughs> on Father's Day. I'll be totally honest. If we were going to cheat, I feel like your dad would have done it on a like food giveaway, not yeah. like baseball me and your dad cards. share a sweet tooth. Yeah, it'd be those Chili's talking chips, not baseball cards with 30-year-old gum or something. All right. Well, Father's thanks, Day. Isaac, for joining us. We'll see you later. Bye, Arlo. Happy Father's Day. Bye. So congratulations, there you go, mom, dad. Thanks for figuring out the chat on our website and answering the question correctly. So just a couple quick announcements before we sign off here. Next Sunday, as Lex mentioned, oh, our worshiping together will be happening in some new ways we're excited about. So you'll be able to join us outside at 9 a.m., inside at 11 a.m., and online for both services. <laughs> we'll be live streaming the outside and the inside services Sorry. so you can watch wherever you'd like to, wherever you're most comfortable. We want all the experiences to be hopefully comparable and similarly worshipful and engaging. We will have the digital foyer before both services. We'll make sure it's on Facebook next week, and, uh, and it should be a really great time. So join us however you feel most comfortable, and try to RSVP. If you didn't get the email, we were just trying to find out if people are coming for the outside or inside services. So if you're willing to, RSVP. It's not a reserve, like your spot. You can still come even if you don't if you do forgot, it. you forgot, all are welcome. It's just to help us plan accordingly if possible. Yep. And I would recommend signing up, if you haven't done so, for our chapel text list. Because what if it's monsooning? Monsoon? Monsooning. Monsooning. Because <laughs> then you could be like, well, are they having it outside or not? It's like... Boom, if you're on the text list, you get a text, you're like, oh, look, this is what they're doing. So I think it's Chapel News to 41411, and there's instructions on the website for how to do that. That's right. So thanks for joining us. The worship service is up. Sorry for the technical difficulties, but as always, Man. Lex and I love joining you in the digital foyer, we and we can't wait to connect again soon. Take care, y'all. Bye, friends.